Welcome to Lesson 2, Wetlands and the Water Cycle. This is the cutaneous respiration experiment. For this experiment, you'll need an empty bowl, one plastic water bottle with small holes, one large clear bowl filled with water, food coloring, black pepper, and a spoon. Make sure to have your worksheet handy because we'll reference it from time to time. First, ask students to match the animal with the part of the body it uses to breathe on the worksheet. The rest of the worksheet will be completed during the demonstration. Fill the bowl with colored water. This represents the frog's habitat. We have the holes already poked in the water bottle, but for the next step you're going to want to poke small holes prior to starting the step. Fill the water bottle with clean water. This represents the frog. Make sure you have another bowl available to put your frog in. Ask students what they think will happen to the frog in its clean habitat. Will the frog absorb everything from its habitat? Submerge the frog in its habitat and squeeze it multiple times. Let it have a chance to get water back in it. What color did the water turn in the frog? Why? Now add black pepper to the frog's habitat. This is to simulate pollutants in the environment. And then do the experiment once again. Was the frog able to only absorb the clean part of the water? Was it able to get rid of the pollutants? For the answers to the questions, be sure to read the information in your poster guide. And don't forget to register for your chance to win an interactive field trip for your class at the zoo. Visit us online at www.houstonzoo.org slash ecolearninglab.